with reference to the cause of those fires. We'll get it to you. All right, today was Magic Day all up and down the state. Day one of California's lottery. Four, three, two, one. Let the game begin. <laughs> and with that, what is expected to be the country's biggest lottery was underway. Los Angeles went all out for the opening ceremonies. Festivities also held in Sacramento, San Francisco, San Diego. It was a million-dollar promotional send-off. In Orange County, the players lined up for their own kind of send-off, and Bureau Chief Bob Navarro is standing by in Anaheim with a live report for us. Bob. Well, the last couple of hours here at the Regional Center in Anaheim have been quite busy on two fronts. One, of course, they are refilling tickets, if you can believe it or not, for retailers who have already sold out their allotments. Some in as soon as 35 and 40 minutes. One fellow sold 10,000 tickets in less than three hours. And on the other front, playing host to winners, including 11,000 winners of $5,000. I should say 11 winners of $5,000. It's been quite a day, obviously. It's got me a little confused. And here is how it started. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three thousand dollars! One of the first to get his hands on a lotto ticket was Eddie Jefferson, who wanted to wait a while before finding out whether or not he was a winner. But others had no such qualms. Oh, I won $5. Yeah. Medium Liquors in Anaheim had spent weeks and some money anticipating this day. And it seemed to pay off. Within 30 minutes, Tony Lopez had sold his 2,000 ticket allotment. How many tickets? Five tickets. And suddenly everybody seemed lost in California's latest pastime the lotto scratch. What are you going to do if you hit the big one? Not go back. Yeah, not go back to work. <laughs> and officials believe Orange County goes the honor of coming up with the first $5,000 winner. He's a doctor from Santa Ana. It's a big deal. Are you kidding? I'm one of the, uh, the first few people to win uh, $5,000 here, right? All right. <laughs> what are you going to use it for, sir? Uh, uh, I'm going to buy more tickets, I think. <laughs> Incidentally, Dr. Gattas is a recently a U.S. citizen, and he tells us that he hit the lottery in his native Sudan, Africa, for $50,000 not too long ago. So more great testimonials. Of course, a lot of losers, too, but no time to bring that to you. Reporting live from Anaheim, Bob Navarro, Channel 4 News. Okay, Bobby, thank you. Whoopee is right. Supermarkets are using gimmicks to attract lottery customers. At Vons and at Safeway, purchase of a 12-can uh, case of soft drinks qualifies you for a free ticket. Inland Empire Bureau Chief Cal Campbell went to an Alpha Beta store where there a $25 grocery purchase gets you a free ticket. Webster's defines lottery as a contest in which tokens are sold, the winning token being secretly predetermined in a chance drawing. Another way to define it might be the new and fun way in California to throw away your money. Take the case of Carrie Ruiz. For the $2 she spent on two lottery tickets, she won $2. Oh, you're hooked now. Yeah, I'm hooked. <laughs> She immediately spent the two dollars she won to buy two more tickets. Two more tickets. The anticipation is just breaking up the crowd. Oh boy! You can hear a pin drop on the store. <laughs> Down to the last scratch, and guess what? She lost. So he didn't win anything. Give me three more. <laughs> the next three tickets were no less exciting. Carrie Ruiz was now out five bucks, but you couldn't tell by looking at her. This better than playing bingo. Carrie Ruiz may not be a typical lottery player, but she comes very close. Some families, like the Brock Banks, are sharing the investment, but not the profits. They spent four to make two. Okay. So you're going to split your $2 winnings with your no. son? He gave it to me. <laughs> because of this reinvestment of winnings, everyone seems to be losing money, but still they love the game. Cal Campbell, Champ News, Ontario. Thanks, Cal. The fun and games not just in Southern California. In San Francisco today, the weather was perfect for outdoor ceremonies at 3rd and Market to kick off the lottery in Northern California. The Lottery Commission promised free tickets to those who were first in line, and there was a countdown to launch the familiar, now familiar, orange and green balloons marking the beginning of the lottery sales. Hundreds of people on their lunch hour in downtown San Francisco lined up to take a chance on being a big winner. Word spread quick that within the first hour, there were two $5,000 winners there. That helped assure lottery fever in the city by the bay. Among celebrities boosting sales, there, John Davidson and Baseball Hall of Famer Willie Mays. Kelly? And as we have seen, winning in the lottery games is simple as scratching off the ticket, but it has to be the right ticket, as you know. Well, Bill Lagatuda is here tonight to tell us more about the very important 
uh, odds, the odds of hitting one of the really big payoffs as he concludes a special series on the lottery. This is the segment we've been waiting this for. This is some good news for us, right, Billy? <laughs> well, we'll see. Now we know how the game is played and what is at stake, so what we're going to do tonight is calculate the exact odds that you will become an instant millionaire. Any idea what they are? Uh, no, I'm ready. All right, we're <laughs> going to show you. After all, that is why everybody is joining the new gold rush. We've always got that excitement of that we're going to win. I think it's really uh, the, the middle class dream to hit that uh, big, big chelote, so to speak. But realistically, what are your chances of hitting the big chelote? Here are the numbers. There are 400 million tickets. Of those, 40 million people win $2. Nearly 5 million will win 5 bucks. Only 100,000 will win $100, and it drops dramatically from there. Only 10,000 winners each for the biggest instant jackpots. Mathematically speaking, the odds of winning anything are 9 to 1. To get here, to get a chance at the big wheel and the grand prize of $2 million, the odds are, well, astronomical. First, 10 $100 winners have to be picked from the barrel. Odds, 1 in 625. Those finalists spin the wheel where the odds of doing this are only 1 in 10. But... To get here and win, from the time you first scratch off your ticket, the odds are 25 million to one. How'd that compare to other games of chance? We asked gambling expert and math professor Peter Griffin to compare those odds to games we know from Las Vegas. Hitting a 10-spot Kino ticket, that's about 10 times as likely that the person would hit a 10-spot Kino ticket as uh, win the grand prize. 24 pass line bets winning in a row in craps would be just about it's slightly more probable than winning the grand prize in a lottery. And uh, roulette, uh, red coming up 22 times in a row would be about the same. You have a better chance of getting six consecutive blackjacks than winning the grand prize. Being that lucky would be the same as picking the precise order of finish in an 11-horse race, or flipping a quarter and having it come up heads 24 times in a row. That's 25 million to one. All of those incredible events are more likely to happen than win the grand prize in the California lottery. That's right, assuming the player has bought one ticket, yes. Here's one more way to look at it. Since half the lottery proceeds go to the state, think of that as the house take. What's left goes to the players. On the average, craps pays back 98.6 cents on the dollar. The big wheel, 76 cents. Kino, 72 cents. The California lottery, 50 cents. So come up and see me, give me a dollar, and I'll give you 75 cents back. I'll give you a better deal than that in, in the sense of mathematical expectation. But on the streets of L.A., nobody's really thinking math. It's a lot better than, uh, say, traveling to Vegas or something like that, and you can gamble, and, you know, still go home. You are 12 times more likely to be struck and killed by lightning than you are to win the grand prize in the no. California lottery. <laughs> Nick and Kelly. That's terrible. Okay, I guess that sort of brings it right down uh, to where we needed to know. That's the bottom line. That's what I wanted mm. to know from Monday. Now I know. I think I'll keep my dollar in my pocket. Sure, right? by the light. Okay. Well. Mm. All right, coming up. I'm, I'm stunned. I, we, we noticed. Coming up, the secret mission of the space shuttle, but the beginning of the mission was not secret at all. We'll show it to you, in fact. Plus, the latest on the dramatic rescue underway in Mexico, where a boy has been trapped for more than two weeks. And also in this news hour, the death of a famous World War II radio correspondent. That story... And question, will the state pay for bottled water in Hacienda Heights now that the tap water there is not safe? We'll have a report on that. And David Horowitz on the threat of AIDS for those who treat accident victims. Unplanned pregnancy? Call Holy Family first for answers you can live with. 484-1441. What do you get when you've got fabulous feet? Fabulous feet, the tap kid. The Tony Award for the best dancing on Broadway. Now at the Pantages Theater. Take it out, close your eyes, and throw. The odds are that British Airways fly there. British Airways, the world's favorite airline. Just a little north of Boston, in the old town of Marblehead, is a place where only local people used to eat. But the scampini and the scampi were so good that word soon got out that a night in Rosalie's was like a night in Milan. But if you go there, remember, bring a big appetite and bring your visa card. Because at Rosalie's, they don't take no for an answer and they don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. No matter how things change Or how we live today The best things in life Are done in the original way
day. Enjoy something original. Critter and spices taste naturally better somehow. Kentucky Fried Chicken original recipe. We've been doing chicken right for 40 years. We're not going to change it now. Kentucky Fried Chicken.